Oh, I'm not winning this. Oh. Thank you. Hey there everyone, how are y'all doing? Today we're going to be taking a second look at the R101C Carbine post update 4. How best to use it and how to be as effective as possible with it. Let's get started. The Carbine deals a maximum of 50 damage at close there range with a minimum of 40 damage at long range. Its drop off starts at 32.39 meters and ends at 43.82 meters and it has a 1.4x headshot multiplier. This means that you're going to have a 4 shot kill out to about 32.4 meters. Anything past that is going to be a 5 shot. Headshots do not make any difference within your effective range unless you're getting like 3 of them. Uh, which is kind of not very feasible or relevant. Uh, however, past your drop-off range, you know, past your 32.39 meters, if you get out to 32.4 or greater, then getting one headshot is going to drop your shots to kill from what it would normally be at 5 back down to 4. So you have the potential to be a 4-shot kill anywhere on the map as long as at least one of your shots is a headshot. Recoil after update 4 is definitely noticeably increased. No longer is the carbine wedged He's into the idea of being a laser rifle that anyone can use and just, you know, herp derp point at somebody 50 million meters away and pling them four times in the head, you know, with absolutely no recoil and, you know, have no problems doing that. It's less of a scrub weapon now. It takes a little tiny bit more skill in aiming. Uh, you're going to have to burst fire a little bit more, control your aim a little bit better. However, the, the nerfs to the recoil are not so great that the weapon has become unusable at long ranges. You can still, with uh, very good accuracy um, and a little bit of practice, still fire it at pretty much full auto past 40 meters and still be relatively very accurate. Um, you're only really going to be uh, outshot by more skill weapons like a Kraber, DMR, or a G2A4 at those kind of ranges. So the carbine definitely still fills a long range kind of role very, very well, uh, but be advised it's a little bit less brain dead now, but still pretty easy to use. Now, although the carbine is extremely powerful at any range, uh, it does still have a few flaws. Number one being the recent magazine size nerf. So, without extended mags, you're going to be having a 24 round magazine, and with extended mags, it's only going to be going up to 30. So, that's going to hurt for a lot of people. However, I think that's probably a pretty fair change to the carbine. Again, it makes it less of a spray and pray weapon at any range, and you're going to have to pick your shots a little bit more intelligently now. So, uh, it definitely feels like a good change to me. I'm very happy with it. You know, I use the carbine, and I'm, you know, I'm glad to hear that it was changed like that. So, um, it's still usable. It's not nerfed to, to you know, unusable tier. It's still one of, if not the greatest weapons in the game, even with 10 less rounds in its magazine, with a 25% magazine nerf. It's still great. So, you know, keep that in mind. Yay. Now, the biggest thing that everybody hates about the carbine, though, is its hip fire. Everyone says that it's terrible, they hate it, they can't use it, and I'm generally inclined to agree to an extent. It's definitely one of the worst hip fires of any weapon in the game. It's very, very hard to be consistent out past even just a couple of feet with it. So it's definitely difficult to use. However, the only way to bandage that is to have very, very good movement, very good parkour. You know, if you get into a close range fight, be able to spray somebody down, you know, hip fire, whatever. But try to find the nearest wall or or, you know, just bounce around and be as evasive as possible. So, you know, just, just don't let the enemy have and use the accuracy that they may have with a potentially better weapon at close range. You gotta try and throw them, and you gotta do everything you can to stay alive to keep the carbine effective. Long enough that you can actually get aiming down sights and keep your shots accurate at close range, and, uh, you know, actually be able to take down your enemies. So, with a lot of work and a lot of mobility, you can definitely make a carbine work, you know, just as, well, maybe not just as well as an SMG, but, you know, pretty freaking close. So, it takes work, but you can get it done. And then this ties into my last point, is that aiming down sights while you're on the ground with this carbine sucks. I mean, you, you're moving so slow that, I mean, you're such an easy target that you're never going to win gunfights that way uh, versus any sort of a competent opponent. So what you're going to have to do uh, instead is, you know, you got to play this weapon almost like an SMG or a shotgun or a smart pistol. you got to be going crazy at all points in time with your wall runs. you got to be staying mobile, aiming down sights while you're flying through the air, just so that way you can retain some sense semblance of speed and evasiveness. If you're on the ground, 
your only chance to stay on alive versus a competent opponent is that, you know, that quote-unquote dance of death that a lot of people love to call it, where, you know, you strafe left and right, left and right really fast, and you have that sort of really, really evasive um, movement within your player model, um, where, like, your entire hips just swing left and right and left and right, and, like, your body is just impossible to track. Uh, I'm sure you've seen other people do it to you, and you've done it to plenty of people. It's just kind of a little quirk of the game that you kind of have to take advantage of if you're stuck on the ground um, in a one-on-one -on -one carbine battle. So, uh, you know, I guess every weapon in the game kind of falls into the same pit, but it feels much more pronounced with the carbine because, you know, it's ev almost everybody runs a carbine, so it's it's almost a matter of who shoots first, and you got to be evading every single bullet you possibly can, so it feels way more important with this weapon than almost anything else in the whole game. Another thing you got to be wary of is Carbine's inherent weakness to stimmed pilots. They're going to be able to regenerate enough health between all four bullets of your Carbine connecting to regenerate, um, you know, a few points of health, and they're going to end up taking a fifth shot to kill unless you're pulling off headshots on them. Well, I'd rather not headshots, just a single headshot will do. So, keep that in mind, um, the Carbine is inherently just weaker versus opponents who have stim and have quick enough reflexes to react to being shot with it one or two times and popping that stim. It's basically a little health pack that they're popping and they're able to take an extra bullet, so be very careful of that. Um, you know, try and keep track of which pilots are running stim and which are good enough at that, and you got to be very sure to take care of them as quickly as you possibly can or else they're going to turn on you and uh, make your life not very fun. Basically, the carbine is going to allow you to play just about any role that you freaking want. It's great at every single range. Despite all the negatives that I've been talking about, it doesn't make it a bad weapon. It's still S tier. It's still, like, you know, top three weapon in the whole game. So definitely always a good choice. You're never going to go wrong using it. Um, and without much further ado, oh, no. let's get into a couple of my recommended loadouts very briefly before we peace out for the day. My favorite loadout with the Carbine consists of, well, the Carbine with the Hollow Sight and Extended yeah. Mags, Stim, Satchel Charges, or Frags, I kind of hop between the two, uh, Power Cell, and then for my second pilot kit, I always kind of bounce around, sometimes between Warp Fall, sometimes yeah, between is, is uh, Guardianship, sometimes between Minion Detector, it just really depends on the game type that I'm playing and how I'm feeling that day, but any of those are all really, Damn, really, really good choices, so, you know, I whatever floats your boat. Fire? An alternate loadout would be a carbine with silencer, arc mines, and something like active radar pulse. That's going to allow you to play defense very effectively, and it's going to help you to deal with the straight up damage nerf that the silencer will provide. Anyways, guys, that's about all that I've got for you today. Hope that you learned something new. Hope you um, really enjoy the carbine, even post patch, just as much as I do. I still think it's a lot of fun, very effective weapon. And the nerf, you know, was justified and didn't kill it, so that's great to hear. Anyways, uh, thanks again for watching, and we'll see you next time.